So I've been a part of the 21st Space Wing and maybe Peterson Air Force Base. From my time from being the Inspector General to being a Group Commander to now my position as a Director of Staff. So I first joined Air Force Base Command here at Peterson in 1992 when I was with the Inspector General team. As I was a 21st Ops Group Exec and I, I moved into the job in summer of 2001. I first started in the, in the 21st Space Wing as a knight back in February of 00. My very first assignment as a space operator was with the 21st Space Wing. I don't know if people really understood or believed that Space Command was going to you know, flourish the way that it has today. As our paths have continued to cross and merge, I've proudly witnessed this enterprise come into its own. Nothing has stood still, not for a second. You couldn't convince me that I didn't hit the lottery and have the coolest job in the Air Force. I always liked the technology. I think that's one of the reasons many of us joined the Air Force is just for the exciting technology. So I remember thinking the technology was exciting. I remember the capabilities. I felt like the incapabilities were improving all the time. Uh, I think that the, the way we do it and can, will continue to do it is key for the future of, of space for the, for the country. So I still have the same excitement today about being a space operator as I did in 2000, 2001 as captain. Talent, not just tech, has taken a quantum leap and new creative, diverse thinking is shifting and shaping the space terrain. It's a total team effort and as long as we never lose sight of that total team effort, then our future looks very bright for the U.S. Space Force. Our future is boundless, and I am beyond excited for the unlimitedness of the Space Force. We are what's next.